Okay, what we're going to do is uh, look at factors and prime numbers. So let's make some notes, get our lesson objective and keywords down, dates in Welsh. So hit pause, do that now, and then write starter on the line when you're ready. And uh, then click play and look at the starter. Okay, here's our starter for today. So hit pause. Have a go when you're ready, hit play, and then we'll go through it together. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go through these. 1a, 3 plus 5 times 2. Remember what we said, bod mass. We've got more than one operation, or you might know it as bid mass. Either one means the same thing. So the operation we're going to do first is multiplication in this one. So we end up with 3 plus 10, which is equal to 13. So they don't change position. Just because you do that operation first, it still stays there. Next one, 6 plus 10 divided by 5. So we do the division first. So the 6 stays the same, plus 2, which is equal to 8. This one doesn't really matter which one we do first because they're the same operation. So if we do that one first, it gives us 35 times 2, which is 70. This one again, we're going to multiply first. Multiplication before subtraction. So that's 26 minus 24, which is 2. Division first. This one, 30 divided by 6 is 5 minus 5 is zero and here we've got multiply and divide um, I don't know if we want to go through this in year seven yet but it doesn't really matter if you just got these two which one we do first okay but if we go with bod mass let's divide first so we end up with three times three which is nine okay if you had done the other way around 3 times 6 is 18 divided by 2 is 9. So if you have uh, multiplication and division, it doesn't, and those are the only two operations, it doesn't matter which one you do first. Okay, good. Hopefully those are all right. Let's have a look at 2a. 321 times 4. Remember, we've got to set it out as columns. 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, and then 4 threes are 12. So 1,284. And then use your answer in part A to work out 321 times 8. If 321 times 4 is 1,284, then all I need to do to get from 4 to 8 is times 2. So if I just double the answer, 1, 2, 8, 4, multiply that by 2, that'll give me the same answer. So let's draw another line there. 4 twos are 8. 2 8 is 16, so 6 carry the 1, 2 2 is a 4, plus the 1 is 5, don't forget to cancel the 1, and 2 1 is a 2. Good, 7189 to the nearest 10, remember we put our line here, does 9 affect the 8? Yes, 7190, then to the nearest 100, put our line here, I tell you what, let me just change colour, I'm going to... So to the nearest 100, we put our line there. So that's going to, the 8 affects the 1, so it'll be 7,200. Oops, forgot to put the approximate sign. Approximately equal to. And then to 1,000, one more change, let's go green. Put our line here. The 1 doesn't affect the 7, so that's going to be approximately 7,000. And back to red. And on this one, it says estimate the answer. Estimate means I can round first before I multiply. 29, that rounds up to 30. So the answer is going to be approximately 30 times 6, which is 6 times 3 is 18. And I've got a 0, which I need to account for. And 213 times 8. So 213 is approximately 200. 
Okay, round down to 200 times 8. That gives me 8 times 2 is 16. And I've got to account for these two zeros there. Good. So hit pause. And I want you to rag your work. Tell me how much effort did you put in? Did you work well? And fully understand? Or do you need more practice? Whichever one. Or more, uh, more important or better would be if you uh, gave me your own statement. Once you've done that, hit play again and then we'll, uh, we'll move on. We'll look at factors in the first instance. Okay, let's have a look at some um, facts about factors. First uh, thing, so a factor, that's the main definition. It's a whole number that goes into another number exactly. So it's got to go into the number exactly, no remainders. One is always a factor, and so is the number itself. So if you have 24, one goes into it, one times 24. And when you found one factor, there's another one. So factors always come in pairs which is why I always use the factor spider, which I'm going to show you now. Right. So factors, uh, this one, I'm going to look for the factors of six. So I draw myself a factor spider. Okay. You can draw yours any which way you want. Um, first factor, always the number that goes into any other number is one. One is always a factor. But because they come in pairs, 1 times what gives me 6? 1 times 6. Now we always move in order. If we keep it ordered, we make sure we don't miss anything out. After 1 comes 2. So I'm going to try. Does 2 go into 6? Yes, it does. 3 times. 2 times 3. And I've already got 3, so I've got all my factors. So once I've finished doing that, I have to write down the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. You have to write it down. Okay, because this, the diagram is just your workings. And I, I really like having diagrams in maths. We don't draw enough. Right, factors of 12. Always 1. 1 times 12, because they come in pairs. Does 2 go into 12? Yes, it does. How many times? 2 times 6. Good. Does 3 go into 12? Yep, 3 times 4. And I've got them all now, because 4 is on the other side. So I can write, make sure you write this down. The factors of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Have to write them down. Let's have a look at uh, 16. I tell you what, before I show you this, um, I want you to have a go. So draw your factor spider. Now hit pause. Have a go at the end of the factors and then we're going to check in two minutes. Okay, let's have a look. So we know that 1 is a factor. 1 times 16. 2 goes in, it's an even number. And that's 2 8. 3 doesn't go into 16. 4 does though. Yeah, because 16 is a special number. 4 times 4, 16, because uh, 16 is a square number. So we can write the factors of, we can write the factors of 16. 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. We don't have to write the 4 twice. But we have to write down the factors of 16, because that's what we're required. Factors of 36. Quite a lot of factors of 36. Again, hit pause. And let's see if you can get them all. Now that's the key thing. Can you get them all without missing any, any factors? Hit pause now, off you go. Okay, let's have a look if you've got all the factors. So we've got 1 and the number itself. So 1 times 36. It's an even number, so 2 goes into it. 18 times. 
3 plus 6 is 9, which means 3 goes into it. 12 times. Does 4 go into 36? Yep. 9 times. Does 5 go? No, it doesn't end in 0 or 5. 6 does go, because again, we've got another special number here. 6 times 6. And we're done then, because there's 6 on the other side. So we've got them all. Let's see if you can check that you've got them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. So quite a lot of factors of uh, 36. Or well, 36 has a lot of factors. Right. Factors of 28. Hit pause. Have a go. When you're ready to check, hit play again. Make sure you get all of them. Right. See if you're right. We've got 1 and 28. 2 does go into 28. 14 times. 3 doesn't because 2 plus 8 is 10. That's not in the 3 times table. 4 goes. 4 times 7. 5 doesn't go. Doesn't end in 0 or 5. 6 doesn't go. And we're back at 7. So we've got all the factors there. 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. Make sure you write that down. When we when we come to do it, don't write it down yet. And forty five. Off you go. Hit pause. Okay. Got well, one and forty five. Two doesn't go. It's not an even number. The three does, because four add five is nine, and nine's in the three times table. Three times. 15. Good. 4 doesn't go. What about 5? Yeah, 5 nines. It ends in 5, so 5 times 9. 6 doesn't go, or 7, or 8. So we've got all our factors. Good. Now what I want you to do is to make some notes. So hit pause. No, don't hit pause yet. Don't copy this down. I'll give you. A, I'll, I'll tell you what I want you to copy. Right. So you can make some notes now on this because we've got our factor facts here, and we've got an example, one example of a factor spider with a factor of twelve. So hit pause. Copy this down. When you're ready, hit play again. And we're going to look at prime numbers. Prime numbers. Okay, prime numbers. What's the prime number? Can you remember? Well, hopefully you said the prime number is a number that's got two factors. Okay, it's only got two factors, itself and one. One is a special number because it's not prime. It only has one factor. Only one goes into one. So it's not a prime number. That's a question we always get asked. Um, prime numbers up to 50. We've got, we got them here. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. And if we just have a quick look at 2 is a very special prime number. Because it's the only even prime number. Okay, The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Next one is 3. If you look at 3, the only numbers that go into 3 are 1 and itself. Next one is 5. Same sort of thing. The only factors of 5 are 1 and 5. And then 7. Only factors of 7 are 1 and 7. And so on. 9 is not a prime number because 3 goes into 9. And then 11. We've got 1 and um, 11, we go on to 13, which gives us 1 and 13, oops, okay, and so for all these numbers we got here, they've only got uh, two factors, so what I want you to do is to make some notes, um, what do I want you to copy? 
I think if we copy down this page then, so hit pause, make some notes, and then when you're ready, hit play again, and I've got some questions for you to do. Okay, so on to the classwork. Um, you can start from question four. Okay, start from question four. So we ignore one, two, and three. We start from question four. Okay, and over the page, not, not so many questions today. Okay, so start from question number four, like we just said. Good. I'm going to attach the classwork to the assignment. 